Hello, this is Dr. Mears. Today we are going to learn how to write an equation of a line from a graph. I already wrote the steps out, so if you would just pause it for a quick minute and write the steps down, and then you may come back and we will begin. Okay, let's go. Um, so the first, we have two graphs here, so we have two different lines that we're going to be making equations for. I'm gonna look at this graph first. Um, notice here is the line and we have some points on the line already. Now, if you don't have points on the line, I want you to recognize where this line will cross like the corner of these boxes. Um, that's where I want you to try to find points. Um, and that goes to our step one. We need to locate two points on the line and find slope. So the two points have already been located for us and I do want you to know that they go through the corner of these boxes here and that's where we find those two points sometimes they're not going to be given to you so that's how you locate them um, but let's use our points here we can do this a couple ways we can remember slope is how we get from one point to another um, it's the steepness of the line so how many boxes we have to either count up or down to get from one point to another and then how many left or right um, so if I like to start at the leftmost point first because that's how I read a graph. I read a graph from left to right. So this is the leftmost point. And so I'm gonna count one box, two box, three boxes. So this is up three. So that's a positive three because I went up three, up three. Now I'm gonna count right because I'm going towards the right. So one, two, three. So I'm going positive three to the right. So I went up three, and I went right three, and that's how we get our slope from the graph, just by counting those boxes. Now, I can divide this out. Three divided by three is one, and so my m is going to be one. So I found my slope, my slope is one, so m equals one. Now, if you didn't want to count the boxes, you could locate these two points and use the slope formula. Um, you have seen that, and you have worked with slope formula before um, the slope formula is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 that is the slope formula however because we have two points we can simply just count the boxes and that is the strategy I'm going to use right now number two locate where the graph crosses the y-axis so this is the x this is the y so I want to know where this line crosses this axis. So where it crosses is going to be at this point right here, because I see it, it crosses this y axis and this line cross right here. So I just have to count. So this is negative one, negative two, negative three. So this is at negative four. So my B is negative four. So I located two points and found slope. I located where the graph crosses the y-axis, and this is the y-intercept, and that is recognized by the variable b. Um, and now I have to do my third step, which is substitute my m and my b into y equals mx plus b. So y equals my m, which is 1x, my b, minus 4. So this negative does become your minus 4. Now you could write this as y equals x minus four. That's absolutely fine. I will accept either one, it does not matter. All right, so let's go to the second example here. Um, in this second example, we need to look at the line. Here's the line, find two points. They already found two points for us. Um, so these two points I'm going to use to one, locate um, the, sorry, find, I already located them, um, find the slope. Now I read this graph from left to right, so my first point that I'm going to start from is my point on the left here. So my slope equals, there's my fraction bar, so I have to actually now count down to get this, to this point over here. So I'm going to count down one box, two, three, four, five, six. Am I even with that? Yep. So I went down six. So that's minus six because I had to go down. So down is negative. So sorry, that's negative six, um, not minus six, negative six because I had to go down six. My, my bad. Um, and now I'm going to have to count to the right uh, boxes because I have to end up at this point over here. So let's count one, two, three, four, five, six. So I went to the right six boxes, to the right six boxes, and to the right is positive. 
So remember, when we, when we count down, it's going to be negative. When we count up, it's going to be positive. When we count right, it's going to be positive. And we go left, it's going to be negative. Um, so I'm going to look at this fraction. I can divide this out. Um, I can simplify this. So negative 6 divided by positive 6 is going to be negative 1. So my slope is negative 1. Um, next, I'm going to need to locate my y-intercept, so I have to locate where the graph crosses the y-axis. So here's my graph, here's the y-axis, and I'm going to locate the point crosses right here. So let's see where that is. This is positive 1, and this is positive 2, so it's at positive 2. So b equals positive 2. Now my third step is to substitute m and b into y equals mx plus b, y equals negative 1x. Since this is positive, it's now plus 2. Again, you could write it as y equals negative x plus 2. Absolutely fine. I'll accept either one. This has been writing the equation of a line from a graph. We located two points. We counted the boxes to find slope. We um, counted where the um, line cross the y-axis and then we substitute it into m and b. There are other ways of doing this such as using the slope formula we would need to actually find where these points lie. You are going to be using the slope formula to write an equation um, but not yet. Um, so I'd rather have you count the boxes and then we will explore slope formula in another video. I hope this helped. This has been writing an equation of a line from a graph.